Hello, so I'll be solving find plays with 0 or 1 losses. And uh, have you missed me? I'm back with our camera. And basically, oh, that was a bit cringe. Sorry. So, winner and loser is arranged in this format where winner comes first. And how we can approach this is that we realize that in our 2D list, winner is in one array list and the losers are arranged in another list and we have to st store some kind of values that record if this person has won or lost one so we can kind of see a like a relationship where value of zero and one uh, exist so when, whenever we want to use a key and a value to store maybe let's say key as the winners or losers and values as like zero or one to identify to differentiate them then we're going to use a tree map for this case where the key would be we're going to have two keys so first key would be winners and second key would be losers and what value do we give them the value would be well, we only want to get the losers who have lost one match. So once we see this loser right here, we want to give that key a value of one. And if it adds up to two, then we just disregard it in our map. So we're going to find our We're going to find the winner if it exists in our map already or we're going to give the value of zero so effectively the value is zero basically for winners but for losers we have to well it's the same thing but we want to add a value of one and we're going to filter out where if like value so the condition is that if value is less than or equal to one, so zero or one. Oh, zero. Oh wait, sorry, it's zero or one. If it exceeds, like if it's value two, then we don't want to put it in our result, right? Okay. So first, very simply, let's create a two D list, and I'm gonna create it. by placing the value 2 in our constructor and calling it iteratively to create a list inside that list uh, inside uh, create a array list inside that list plus plus list.add new array list okay now our list has two array lists empty ones and as I've said, we want to create, oh, sorry. We want to create a map that contains an integer key and an integer value. And we're going to use a tree map. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's iterate through the matches for int match in matches. The zero element is winner. So let's start with that. This is the winner, right? And we want if we say we want to store the winners in as the key. So let's map dot put the key. Remember, put is key and value. Key comes first, and the value we give is this. If we have encountered this um, winner before, we get that value. If not, we give it a default value of zero. And same thing for the losers. But as we've said, we have to record it to plus one because winners will only have values of, of zero. Even if we get that previous value, that previous value will be zero because 
it's going to be defaulted to zero. But losers, we only want to get those who would have lost one match. So we have to add a one. And if we encounter that loser one more time, that one becomes one plus one, which is two. So we don't want that in our result. So we're going to filter that out right here. So let's filter that out. Um, <clears throat> so let's get the keys for let's all the let's get all the keys in our maps. So we're going to use a key set. Remember, key set is used to get all the keys in a map. But the difference between entry set is entry set is used for to get both the keys and values but uh, we're, we're not really using the we don't really have to use the values here so for integer key in map.keyset okay so we've gotten all our keys all our winners and losers so First, we know what um, array.get method does, right? It's index i. And remember, we have values of 0 and 1 for our keys, uh, for the values of our keys. So that's very efficient because in our result, this is index 0 and this is index 1. So what you've done is that by giving the value 0 to our winners, we can use this index again to get um, to get that index of zero, and then place our winners inside it. And remember that we have to uh, check whether the value is less than or equal to one, because if it exceeds one, then we disregard it. So if get and remember map.get key prints out value. So if the value is less than or equal to one, then we continue with this. So we're gonna get map.get key. And this effectively will just be giving an index of zero or one, right? And in that value of uh, in that index of zero and one, what are we going to place it? Well, we're going to add our winners and losers, so our keys basically. Our keys are winners and losers. Lo uh, losers, remember? So we're going to add those keys inside our list. And after the for loop runs, we return our list. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's basically it. I found this a kind of like a graceful solution, not uh, because we're using the index of uh, the values of the map as the index of the list. So I found that very um, like efficient to use the same value as like twice, basically. And yep, yeah, so that's basically it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.